Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on Unit 2, Economic Indicators and the Business Cycle. And in this video, we're going to be focused on the Business Cycle. This is Subunit 2.7. Guys, I'm excited about this video because it's such an important video, guys. Here's the thing, guys. The whole field of macroeconomics is founded upon this graph. Now, I'm not saying it's the most important graph in all of macroeconomics, that'd be the ASAD model. But it is that the discipline of macroeconomics is founded upon the realities communicated by this graph. You see, the business cycle, what it shows is how economies grow over time. And how do they grow over time? Just like this, all right? And this cyclical pattern. Now, I want you to see that there is a general upward trend normally for most economies, okay? They are going to grow on average over time. They're going to do it in this cyclical pattern, okay, in this boom-bust pattern. Now, the words that we use here, okay, to describe the different parts of this cycle are the following. This is the peak, all right, so there is some peak, which it's always hard to know what the peak is until the peak is in your rear view mirror, just to let you know. And then, hey, economies have this period right here, which is known either as a recession, perfectly fine to label it that, or contraction, right? So you can use label it either term, recession or contraction. At some point, there's going to be a trough, which is the very bottom of the cycle. Again, we don't know what the bottom is until it's in our rearview mirror, right? We wish we knew that we were at the bottom when we were at the bottom. We don't know until we can look back and say, oh, I guess that was the bottom back there. But anyhow, peak, recession, contraction, trough, and then a period of recovery, all right? So recovery or expansion or expansion. And then the pattern simply repeats, right? The pattern simply repeats. Peak, contraction, trough, expansion. Peak, contraction, trough, expansion. All right? Now, why do I say the whole field for discipline of macroeconomics is founded upon this? We do not like growing like this. We don't like growing in boom-bust cycles, right? Sure, the booms are fun, guys, but the busts are miserable and they're not worth the boom, right? So, we would rather grow like the trend line. We'd much rather grow in a stable way. So macroeconomics is founded to try to understand the economy and help moderate the business cycle. Is there anything we can do? Let's understand the business cycle. Is there anything we can do to help moderate the business cycle? Guys, understand this. Macroeconomics was birthed out of the Great Depression. That should make sense to us, right? We were heading down and we kept heading down. It was a really big contraction. And we were like, hey, we need to understand the economy as a whole. The discipline of economics had already existed. And sure, there was some writing about the economy as a whole. But really, with the Great Depression, so much more emphasis started to be put on understanding the economy as a whole, which is what macroeconomics is all about. All right, so let's understand this a little bit deeper, guys. Why is it that we get caught in these extended periods of recession and extended periods of recovery. To understand that, I want to draw this cycle, okay? It's going to be a self-reinforcing cycle. In other words, it's going to be a feedback loop that we get caught in. So, from the peak, as we head into a contraction, what happens, guys, is normally what maybe causes this is something happens to consumer and business confidence. I like to say maybe some exogenous variables changed out there. Something happened out there. We uh, you know, saw it happen, maybe it was a threat of a war or an oil shortage, or maybe it was a virus outbreak, right? Something happens out there and business and consumer confidence goes down. Well, when business and consumer confidence goes down, they get fearful, what are they going to do? They're going to spend less. And when they spend less, what's going to happen? Inventories are going to start to go up. And when inventories start to go up, the first thing that's going to happen is the price level is going to go down, right? Of course, when businesses see their inventories going up, businesses will start to mark things down or put them on sale. But then eventually what's going to happen is, hey, they're going to call the manufacturer and say, hey, I need to cut my, uh, my order for next time, all right? And if that happens enough, you start seeing production going down. And if that continues to happen, you will see layoffs start to happen, unemployment going up. Both of these two things get reported in the news. Production, guys, that's GDP. It's going to be reported in the news. Unemployment, the unemployment rate reported in the news. Unemployment rate going up, GDP going down. Business and consumer confidence go down even more. It becomes, like I said, this feedback loop, this self-reinforcing cycle. 
I like to call this a bus cycle. So we can get caught in these bus cycles. Now the opposite is true, right? Once you get into this side on that expansion side, and who knows what the reason might be, that's part of the study of macroeconomics. It could be because of monetary policy or fiscal policy, or perhaps the economy uh, self-corrected. There could be a lot of different reasons why maybe we went this direction, but at some point we go this direction. And guys, the reason this can be for an extended amount of time, this recovery and expansion, is all these arrows, right, just get switched, right? Once you can get that consumer confidence up, that spending goes up, inventory start to go down. Yeah, there is going to be this price, and you have to keep your eye on that, make sure inflation doesn't get away from you. But with those inventories going down, we're going to start ordering for more production, right? We're going to call manufacturer, I need more. And if that continues to happen, those we're going to hire more workers. So the unemployment rate starts going down. GDP going up in the news, unemployment rate going uh, down the news. People feel more confident that they're going to be able to keep their job. Man, you be able to get a better job. So consumer business confidence goes up, self-reinforcing cycle. That's why we can get caught in these prolonged cycles right here. Now, why if we turn from one to the other? That's part of macroeconomics. I can't answer that in this video, okay? To give you a little insight, it might be a little bit of public sector actors getting involved, monitoring public policy, or it might just be some self-correcting mechanisms in the economy. But anyhow, you got to watch a bunch more videos to answer that question. This is just what the discipline of macroeconomics is founded upon, the business cycle, how economies grow over time. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.